So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create a beautiful world map chart with some badges and info in it. And if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and really don't forget to subscribe to see a lot more of my videos. Well in this video we are going to create this beautiful world map chart. You see a map of the world with these badges on it on the regions with the sales and the profit. And I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful chart. And for that we are going to sheet 2. You see I have some additional columns in my table which we are going to use to create this beautiful chart. I have a table with regions, the number of sales and the profit. And I want these number of sales and the profit on the batches in my world map chart. And the basis of our chart will be a scatter plot and for that I'm going to my ribbon on my insert top and I'm going to insert a chart which is a scatter plot. I'm going to place it here, make it a little bit bigger. And the first thing we need to do is add a background picture which is a world map. So I'm going to select my chart, press console 1. I have my format chart area window. And here is the fill of the background and I want a picture or a texture fill. And when I click it I get directly my world map picture because I already used it in this document. But if you want another picture you can go to the picture source, click insert and you can click from a file. So you can select a file on your computer with a picture. So this is our world map and we are going to insert First are little dots where the batches need to come. So I'm going to close this one, right click on my chart. I'm going to go to select data and I'm going to add a new series. And the series name is sales, for example, the X values, I have them here. And the Y values, I have them here. Like a scatter plot always needs two series of data. Press OK. Press OK again and you see it automatically added a grid line on my chart. I'm going to delete them. I don't want them in my chart. And you see there are some little dots in here and here and here. And the first thing we are going to do is fix our axis. So select your axis, press Ctrl 1. I want a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 10. Press Enter. That also counts for my other axis. A minimum of 0 and a maximum of 10. And the minimum of 0 and the maximum of 10 has everything to do with the placement of the batches on our world map. You see I have an X and a Y value for each region. These X and Y values determine the position of our batch on our world map. I'm going to delete this one. So, so these x and y values determine the position and I can adjust the position by adjusting the x and the y values. And I'm going to show you how that's done in a minute. But I want these axes to be fixed on 0 to 10 because I don't want them to change when I change my x and y values. So I fix them from 0 to 10 and that means my x and y value always have to be between 0 and 10. I'm going to close this window and we are now going to place the batches on our chart. And for that we first need to uh, design uh, the batch. So I can go to my insert tab on my ribbon, go to shapes. I'm going to insert a shape for my batch like this. I can go to shape fill. I want a light blue shape fill and I want a dark blue outline. And I want it to be one and a half points big. And like we saw in our example, there was a line in the middle. So I'm going to the insert top of my ribbon. Go to shapes and I want a line. And I want it to be this long. I want this line to be one point thick. And I want to place it in the middle. And my outline shape is the same as the outline from the shape. I'm going to select my line, press my control key and select my shape. Now I see my line is not in the middle because these dots from the line are a little bit low than the middle dots. So I can select it, put it a little bit higher, select it again and now it's nice in the middle. Now the line is in here, I can round the edges a little bit more 
And now I can click my line, hold the control key and click my shape. Then right click, I can group these two pictures. Now I can select it, press control C, and I need to search for one dot in my chart, click it and press Ctrl V to paste it in my chart. So now you see the batches are placed in the chart and the only thing we need to do now is add the data labels. I made a slightly complex function to create the data label because I wanted these dots in the data label. I, I put the text of sales with the number of sales and the text profit with the amount of profit, but I wanted these dots for the thousands. And that's why I needed a little bit more complex function. You can study this function if you want to see how I did that. Well, these are my data labels and I can click one of my batches. I can go to the plus sign and I can say I want data labels. Well, I can now select one of my batches, press console one, go to my series options and I want to select the data labels. And I'm going to my label options and I want a value from a cell because I made cells here with the data labels. So click value from cells, select these, press OK and uncheck these boxes. Well, my label position is not right at the moment. You see these labels are not placed into the batches. So I need to go to the label position and I need to select center. So now it's right in the center of my batch. It's not nicely outlined, but we are going to do that right now to make it a little bit bigger, bold, give it a dark blue color, even a little bit bigger and bigger. So this will be nice. There is the sales and the profit in the batch. And I already determined the position of each batch, but if you need to do that, I can show you that when I, for example, Europe, which is this batch, when I want it higher, I'm going to adjust my Y value, for example, to 9. And you see my batch is moving up. And I'm going to adjust it to 4. You see it's moving down. So I'm putting it back to 7.3 and it's nicely around Europe. The same for, for example, America. When I want it to be more to the left, I could change the 2 and a 1 and you see it moves to the left. So the X value is for the horizontal alignment and the Y value for the vertical alignment. Now the only thing I need to do is to delete this axis and to delete this axis. I also want no outline so I'm selecting my chart, press Ctrl 1, um, go to the border and I want to say no line. So close this and I have no line around my chart. You can hide these columns in your chart so you don't see them in your sheet because they don't add any value to the table. But if you do that now, I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to hide them and my data labels are gone and my chart is compressed horizontally. I'm going to undo this and I'm going to change some settings. I'm going to select my chart, press console 1. Go to the size and properties and I want to say don't move or size with cells. Select it, close it and now right click in your chart, go to select data, click hidden and empty cells and check the box for show data in hidden rows and columns. So click OK, click OK and now you see when I hide these rows my chart stays the same. So that's the way you can make this beautiful world map chart. So that's how you create this beautiful world map chart. I hope you learned a lot of this video and that you can create your own world map chart now. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch a lot more of my videos. Thanks for watching.